So transitioning to your job at Campbell Ewald, can you explain a little bit about um, your work there and your work with Chevy specifically? Uh, sure. Um, after grad school at Illinois, I I knew I wanted to get into advertising, but when you make that the choice, you can go one of two ways. You can go be a client or you can go be an agency person. And I didn't really understand the difference between. So I went f- for a brief period of time with RCA. And RCA had a program where they were going to hire six college grads around the country. Uh, and they could go at any subsidiary company or division of RCA, work for whomever they wanted, stay for however long they wanted, and do whatever they wanted. So I, uh, I can't miss on this one. And there were five Ivy League guys and me. So I was the token non-Ivy Leaguer. Yeah. And I ended up going to Indianapolis and worked in RCA um, TVs. Went to Boston and, and worked uh, when RCA was trying to get into the computer business, Framingham. I then went to New York, or RCA Records. Went to St. Louis. Uh, they owned Banquet Foods. And in all of those different experiences, I kept watching the agencies they work with and, and kept watching the advertising marketing people on the corporate side. And I said, I don't want to be here. I want to be on that side. The people on the client side have budgets. They have the problem. They have the product. But they would give it to the agencies to solve the problem. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to be on the solution side. And so I, um, partly I think because of my football reputation, a lot of them, execs that can't believe all were season ticket holders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they, I had a good opportunity to go there. So I came back from RCA in Boston and uh, went to work at Campbell Leo on Chevy. Chevrolet was the largest uh, brand in the world at the time. So uh, I worked on uh, in marketing air, wrote a strategic plan for Campbell Leo and Chevy. Um, and then they put me out in the field in Dallas to work with Chevy dealers, five or six states. Sports connection was cool because on weekends, Chevrolet was the, the uh, sponsor of the, of the college football scholarship program. And my job was to be at, on the field at all these Texas, Oklahoma, and the big games and go get the athletic director after the game and bring them over to get the Chevy scholarship. So I'm getting Bud Wilkinson and all these tech, Daryl Royal and all those famous coaches. And and I would have to wait till one of the announcers of maybe C would say what college was going to, which side was going to get it. Then I'd have to go get the coach and bring him over. That was kind of fun. And then on Sundays, I'd go to the professional golf tournaments that Chevy sponsored. So weekends were at golf tournaments and football games, which was cool. And then I was able to get that SMU PhD thing going and still do what I they thought I was doing <laughs> during the week. Uh, and then I wrote this paper at Cam Leewald, and at that time, the government was beginning to get involved in the regulation of advertising. There was the, there was the Bitter Business Bureau, but there was no governmental authority to make things ethical. As I wrote this thesis on the, on the uh, difference between government and, and uh, self-regulation, government regulation, and I sent it back to the chairman of the board of Cam Leewald. There was about four levels between he and me. And he got it, read it, and promoted me back. And they had just been acquired by Interpublic, which they became a publicly owned company. And he kind of became the kind of like the guru of, of that discipline because I kind of read about the speed with this paper I wrote. And then I got involved in the Chevy truck business, ran the tr- Chevy truck account. 